Anyway, I open a new file, a template file in models or projects, as you can see. Well, actually, we're talking about curtain walls. So right now, here I draw a curtain wall. Here in properties, store front. In this way. Watch this in 3D. So as I told you in last sessions, these are called panels and we can associate a panel for them and use them actually. Um, let me remove this and uh, let me choose another curtain wall, exterior glazing in this way, like this. Only considering the regions, not the frame. Anyway, I select this and then in edit type or type properties, I create a duplicate. I name it CW and after that draw it here in value. I change it to maximum spacing and then I change the spacing to maximum sp spacing. For example, 1000 and 1000. Let's check out the result in this way. Very well. But right now I'm gonna uh, create a panel myself. To create a panel, I should use families. So since you know families, you will understand it better. Here in new file, I, I open a family file. Here in templates, you got a specific uh, space for workspace curtain wall panel, in which one of them is metric curtain panel pattern based, which is for masses and I'm not going to talk about it. But this one metric curtain wall panel, I open this one. So wait for a second. Here, as you can see, here we got two references as a default and here if you open exterior and interior you can observe the limitation actually the, the simple way here from create for example here in reference level in reference plane I click on it I draw one here in this way and then I align it and here I want to create a kind of rhombic panels and different in depth so I click uh, I call this depth, so I select associate family parameter, then I set the name, depth. And after that, I check instance, and then I click on OK. In this way, you can see the parameter. And then I set the name for the uh, reference plane, depth, as you can see. And after that, I open exterior elevation right now you can watch exterior and interior so let me open exterior after that i select blend but before that let me cancel this i select reference plane to draw some planes in this way and here in this way and then i align them and then i equalize them in this way the other side in this way equalize them I draw one reference plane more here at the middle actually and then from here to middle and from middle to here equalize and then one more here equal and after that I associate the dimensions to set the parameter in this way I name these two for example, I call them opening, for example, I check instance, I check instance and OK. After that, I select blend. So first of all, I select rectangle to draw the base. So from this corner in this way, and then I lock them in this way. At the top, and then I set the work plane on depth actually. And after that, rectangle, actually line, sorry, from here to here. In this way, to create a kind of uh, rhombic shape. Finish. Very well, check this out. So let me go back to exterior elevation. I select at the top and then I delete this. I select rectangle from here in this way and then I lock the dimensions or the sides let's check it out all right let me modify the depth in family types I set for example 
I should for example 600 and then the opening 500 for example okay check this out back to reference level I match it with the middle reference plane and lock let me modify the dimension here 500 again go back to exterior 1000 in this way let me check actually I think I made a mistake let me change the opening 250 okay it was mixed up missed it was messed up actually right now is better let me modify the depth 200 let's check it again very well go back to reference level so here we got 500 500 at the other side 1000 next year I modify this 1000 in this way I was talking about this anyway go back to reference level or front or exterior actually here in create tab I select reference plane I choose the line I specify the offset 50 let me reduce the 20 so here and here toward down toward inside and toward up I align them to any as we specified it for the offset and here to any and the another one very well again I choose the reference plane and choose the line offset to any here toward the inside in this way I choose a line to any Till now we don't need parameters, only set dimensions in this way. Very well. Again in create I choose blend or I can I can select this to make a copy as you remember from last sessions. Align to same place and then edit base. Align. Let me match this too. And the other side and lock them in this way and the last one I lock them at the top align I match the interiors and other boundaries in this way like this and the last one finish in 3D I select the inside or interior and then I set it on void in identity data cut check this out I was talking about this anyway I selected to associate the family parameter I mean material I name it material or metal and then I check instance and OK in this way as I said before in the new version of 2021 you can associate a parameter for void actually so here I set for example Mm. I specify for example void I check instance ok in other group so right here I'm um, in the family types let me test it I set for example 50 uh, I keep 200 but I work on opening 100 100 300 mm. 200 very well actually here we got a length and wide actually from here to actually from the exterior to to the other exterior line and as I uh, told you before the Revit does not let you to create a parameter but we can convert it to a reporting parameter I specify an invite I check instance and reporting parameter and OK then in exterior align from here to here associate parameter I set height I check instance and reporting parameter in this way continue in next video and write down here in family types for opening parameter here but let me just test it before in the project workspace 
and see how does it works and we have associated a parameter for the material metal and I click on OK let me associate the material for it so here I click on it wait for a second here if you click on it the material browser will be opened so just wait for it right here here I search for metal I open the library let's see what we got here I scroll it down um, here I recommend you to choose the materials which don't do not have the uh, yellow triangles for example like this because they got more quality actually so let me check the list again I scroll down um, I add this one copper I check use the use under appearance as usual apply on ok very well I save it I set the file name for example I R for example dash as I told you before you should be careful when you are naming your files but here's but since here we're just working on simple examples I don't want to spend uh, much time on naming my files but in real projects you should try to put a standard name for example I set this as a standard name let me correct it metric metric rectangular curtain wall for example curtain panel and let me edit furniture as a template file I replace it with curtain panel and the version of 2021 and other details for example void because in which we got an a rectangular opening shape actually in this way I load into my project so right now I select the panel from edit type and then here in curtain panel I select the family which I created now check this out great let me find I enable the shadow here also I can click each of them right click uh, here select panels panel host which means the whole of them so here I can reduce depth for example 150 or I can modify them one by one because these are instance families or even I can select which I want for example these and then modify the opening for example 500 check this out or for example I can divide them into groups by just dragging in this way I select them and these for example filter check none I check curtain panel and then I uncheck void and I modify depth for example one millimeter so let's check it out in this way and we can also in graphic display options I can uncheck show edges check this out the panels which we selected so this is the result and you know you can do whatever you want in your project in this way right click select previous I modify the depth and whatever you want for opening select previous I check the void and right now we can work more professional with dynamo and this and then and apply your conversions uh, in a randomized way I save this and name it for example curtain panel example run backup ok and save but let me give you an example from dynamo to observe the importance and the capability of and the skills of dynamo actually and this is gonna make you interested in working with the Revit and dynamo to just enjoy the project and if you are interested in learning dynamo you can start the courses which I have provided in the website and also you can find them in three levels elementary intermediate and advanced level 
But actually, I'm gonna tell you that in this example, you will learn um, some techniques to apply them on your panels. I mean, right now, you can take the power and the skills of Dynamo into consideration. And after that, you can start the courses if you were interested. Anyway, here I search for, or even I can search in the library here. Here in the library, you can search for the notes, family, types, and then I select. I search for this family. As you remember, we set a long name for it. So, right here, metric rectangular curtain panel. In this way, I specify it as my family type. And after that, I add all elements of family type to get all elements of the specified family type. So here, as you can see, we got 60 panels. Look, I'm gonna ch change the opening size randomly. I change it to manual to prevent it from crashing. Here I search in the library box, math dot, I'm sorry, let me before search for count, to get the number of the items in the list, which were 60 panels, in this way, and run 60. After that, uh, here I search for math dot, round, to round the number to the closest integral value run in this way but actually it's already rounded but uh, actually you should make sure to round the number anyway here again I search for math map to map the input value to a number between 0 and 1 I specify the range run variable I, then I should specify the range maximum range and input value I add a cut block, 200, enter next line, and I set 500 for input value. Run. Let me see. And again, let me make a copy out of math round. Run. I bring it here. But here, let me search for math.remap. Remap range, actually, because here we don't need math.map. So I, I remove math.map, I specify the number, the minimum and maximum. Wrong, let's check it. And I replace math round with math random list. I remove this and replace math random list. Run, let's check it. All right, I specify the numbers. Run, check this out. 100, run in this way. Variable. I go back to here. Here I give the list to math round to round the input values in the list in this way. But before that, uh, let me modify the near maximum to 800 and 50 for new min. Drawn. Check it out. In this way. Very well. And then I search for set. Parameter by name. I specify the element with all elements of the family type. In this way. Then in project, I select one of these elements. Here we need the name of the opening for the parameter. So right now I need a string. I search for a string to specify opening as my parameter name. Then I opening type. But be careful to type the exact word. I mean the exact dictation and the value. Run. After that these random values should be applied as the size of the opening of these families. Check this out. Very interesting. In a very simple way with just working with Dynamo. Right now I select these. I specify an angle 45 for vertical and horizontal grid. 45 degrees. Wait for a second. But here uh, we got an error can make type since we got applied some vo void on these shapes. So I delete it. But here I can replace the uh, panel with this uh, 
system panels actually check this out here I can select the marginal rectangles in entire project I can change this to solid look then I can change the size of the openings of the central rectangles for example here we can control the new min and max 500 run so wait for a second in this way even you can change the materials randomly continue next video